Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example we're going to be creating button rollover and hover effects using CSS styles directly within Adobe XD so there's no external code that's required to do this. So if we were to export this as is what we're gonna get and we've already created our links and this is from a previous tutorial what we're gonna have in essence are basically static buttons so let's just actually go ahead and export this really quick let's take a look so for the splash page you can see although we do have the links assigned we only have static buttons and I say this because nothing is happening during the rollover or the click state so you can see that you know we're doing it here but absolutely nothing is happening so if we want to change that and basically customize it here is a very fast way to do this so we're gonna in essence create CSS styles using the content that we already have so we know that we want to work with this rectangle so let's just copy the rectangle element and within the actual text layer we're gonna to have to apply a style to it so uh, let's say this is called BTN for argument sake so CSS style and we're calling this BTN so what we're going to have to do is create a BTN style within our actual uh, pasteboard so this can be applied to any artboard that we have within our project so uh, what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna paste the object that we copied before uh, let's actually undo that wanna make sure that we don't have any artboard selected oh, it's still actually pasting within so now that we have it within our pasteboard uh, let's just work with it really quick we know that we called it BTN so let's simply just call this BTN and what will happen now is that the element actually let's undo this first and let's export first so you'll see what happens once we add a class element what happens is it will strip it of all its native properties that are assigned within XD so it will just become in essence a blank element so you must create a class for that element so you'll see here sign up has no no graphics assigned simply because it's an empty object right now so to remedy that we create a class for it which matches the style that we gave it BTN and BTN let's just export now you'll see that nothing happened problem is we didn't actually create our CSS style so what we need to do is put this in a group and create our CSS styles that's it another quick and common error to look out for is once you're using pasteboards to create global styles if you select the individual page to export it will not contain that pasteboard you must export everything if you want the pasteboards to be included globally otherwise uh, we would have to include the styles locally within this page so for argument's sake let's just export everything it's exact same speed And we can see now that we have our style applied uh, to our sign up button so let's go a little bit further and what we're gonna do is now we're gonna apply a hover effect to that button so let's go ahead let's just copy this let's paste it so let's change the color tone Let's make this blue. Let's make this green. And probably a bit darker because it's white text. And there we go. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to apply the actual CSS state, which in this case is hover. So the order that we place this is irrelevant um, simply because it'll apply it based on uh, the actual state of the element, but well, actually let's just export it. It's not going to matter exactly where we put it. 
So you'll notice I selected nothing, so that way it'll export everything within the project, so the global styles will be applied. So now we have our button rollover. Now you'll notice here that once we roll over sign up, it no longer uh, continues that action. That's because we have a link on that element, uh, but we could have actually created a class link on the entire object. Oh, let's actually just do that quick, just to show. So to fix this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually move our link tag, well, we'll remove it actually, and we're gonna create a class tag on the register button. This will allow us to control the entire button as an action. So let's make a class tag. Uh, we want to give it the hair of property. Now, anytime you're using class tags within elements themselves, what you have to do is you must define uh, the properties that you want to use. It will not contain any native uh, properties from XD. So let's just give it a hair of to register. Now, because we have a button here, and you'll see that within our actual classes, we're going to have to change this and remap it slightly, uh, but it won't be too big of a deal. So let's actually see how we can deal with that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're actually just going to put them. Actually, let's make this faster. Let's remove this. Let's put this in another group. So we're adding basically an anchor uh, around our entire register button. Let's just call it register link. So we have our class, our anchor with our hair. Now register button, what we want to do is we want to control the entire object so that way we don't have any mouse actions uh, populating over one another. So let's give this a style. And let's call this uh, contain, well, sure, con button container. There we go. So now we have our button container style with our button. Uh, let's actually rename these because uh, to be more precise, this is the background. So let's call this BG while this is now the button. So let's call this BTN. So we now have a BTN as a container with a BG inside. So we want to control these separately. So rather than these being called BTN, these are now actually the BGs. So these BGs will match the similar CSS structure we made here where it's the actual BG background of the element itself. Now to control this better, rather than hover over the BG, we want hover over the button. So let's separate these. So this is just BTN on its own, while this will be BTN hover. Oops. So now we have two groups. One is the button and the background on its own. The other is the button on the hover state with the background. And if we look at our layout once again, we created a class tag to basically control the entire container. And then we also created uh, a CSS style for a button. So this will give our background a container that we can more easily control all the elements within. So let's go ahead and let's export this. So now you'll see that we can have full rollover without any of the mouse uh, actions being mispopulated. So we can basically have a rollover of the entire container. And we still have our anchor link, so it will actually go to the original anchor. So this is quick and easy button rollovers with export kit and CSS and Adobe XD.